Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go hunting for moose. It is uh, late September. Uh, the moose are now in the rut, and uh, so that means they are aggressive. Uh, not that that matters one way or the other. Uh, I was planning on doing moose hunting anyways. Uh, as you can see, I've got a full refrigerator of meat, just jam-packed full of meat, and to the point where I'm starting to throw meat in uh, the <laughs> the biorecycler just because I don't want you know I don't want to set up another refrigerator right now for power reasons I mean this there's so much food here it's just ridiculous um so you know I've just been eating um the meat as I go and as you can see we are now at um 84 max health and 83 max stamina which is really good uh let's see and so yeah there's a bunch of other things I want to get you caught up on too let's actually take and put this burnt meat in here okay so we got that going uh, I want to top off my Jenny so it keeps cranking out that uh, electricity for us uh, the mine miner is doing really good it's keeping us in the iron um, so we're, we're not having any trouble at all with iron I've got a lot of copper a surplus of copper and about and starting to have a surplus of potassium so uh, we might want to think about do on our upgrade here uh, fairly soon I think so yeah all right let's um pull out the rendered fat there I've been using my bow a lot more now for hunting wolves uh, I can kill level one wolves easily with two shots almost even level two wolves just barely not quite enough so one more upgrade on that will probably get us to where we need to be to where we can kill level two wolves uh, but I've also upgraded my pistol, um, you know, to make it a little more powerful, too, so I can just, you know, kill them with one or two extra shots as needed. Uh, speaking of which, we have had several locked crates, and we've had some more encounters with the hunters. Uh, so here is the footage from all of those things.
Okay, let's go up uh, and look at the garden. I've got six cotton seeds, which is awesome. Um, and I think I have some plants that are ready to harvest up here. Uh, also, you'll notice that I now have four solar panels in place. Uh, so that was one of my goals. And, you know, this thing actually generates quite a bit of power. Uh, I mean, relatively speaking, when the wind is blowing. So I'm thinking about maybe making two of these, especially, you know, for winter time, because that's really going to help. So I think I will do that. Whether or not that's a good idea, I don't know. I don't care. I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, garden's growing here. Uh, looks like we have some tomato plants. So what I'm doing with the tomato plants, you get two tomatoes uh, per plant. And so I'm basically cutting that in half and replanting um, the seeds. Uh, so that way we can start building it up. I actually have a pretty decent number already of tomatoes. Um, but, you know, I just really want to stock up on these because they're really the easiest thing we can currently make. And, um, you know, that tomato soup is just amazing. So it looks like that's all we can do here. Let's refurt this. And looks like it's good on hydration. So we're good there. And, yeah, we'll let the garden go. I'm, what I'm going to do, my plan is for the winter time. I don't think we're going to get the greenhouse built by winter. Maybe we will. We'll see. I've just been collecting sandstone like crazy, but I haven't made any glass yet. But... Um, We'll probably pull these back inside, and I'll put a light on this one, too, and then we'll just grow stuff inside uh, during the winter. That's that's the tentative plan at this point, unless, like I said, I can get that greenhouse up in time. All right, so let's go ahead and come back in here. We're going to put the, uh, the seeds in here for now. And we have five more tomatoes. And... So we have a total of 32 tomatoes now, so that means we can make basically 16 soups right now if we wanted to. But I'm not going to do that right this moment because that's a, you know, do overnight kind of thing. I want to get out and about before the day gets away from us too much further. So let's put this water back in here. Um, we're pretty good on food. Can I eat this? Nope. Except for we do need carbs. So what I'm going to do is grab, let's just grab like five blueberries that should get us all the way up to the top. Blueberries are quite nutritious in this game. Um, or clo close enough, anyways. And we'll we'll eat one of these steaks once we're ready. Some of them will probably spoil, but like I said, that's that's just kind of the, the way it goes. All right, so we're going to bring our magnum with us for this. Uh, I want to make another pick, too, because this one's getting close to uh, breaking. So that way we have a spare. Uh, we are going to put the magnum in slot number five because we are going after moose. Let's split this in half. Um, actually, you know what? Let's take let's take 12 because that means we can load the gun twice more. We probably won't need to do that, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, we're doing good on resources, of course. I got over a full stack of uh, cloth now. In fact, yeah, and I got five bandages, three health kits, uh, over a full stack of wood still. I've been, uh, you know, making, been making, um, 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 what's it called? Presso logs uh, with the extra fiber that we've been bringing in. So, yeah, we're doing good. We have 166 biofuel. And, you know, because I've just been doing a lot of hunting, not so much for the meat now, but for the biofuel, especially for the biofuel and also, you know, for the hide and stuff like that. Uh, hunting with the bow is great because it's, you know, it's just so much cheaper on the ammo. So, yeah, we've been doing a lot of that. Okay, let's put this stuff back in here. Um, that goes there. This goes here. That goes there. And I think we're ready to set out. I have two lockpicks with me uh, in case we come across locked chest. Oh, let's replenish these. Yeah, we'll take those. And we've got some extra rifle ammo, shotgun shells. We're doing good. So, yeah, we are doing very, very well right now. Probably the best I've done so far since we've started this game. Um, we'll pull that guy out. Put him in here. And uh, we're going to let you just work on copper. We should have, at present, we have 1.25 coming in and, and only 0.9 going out. Uh, so, you know, because we got all four of those solar panels and now the windmill up there, too. We should be ready to eat this. Okay. I think we're ready to go. We're in good shape. We got all the stuff we need. Everything's in decent repair. It is going to be close to time to start repairing this stuff, but I think we can, 
you know get one more day's use out of it or so and let's go see if we can find ourselves an elk uh, not an elk i'm sorry a moose i'm a little apprehensive because you know the moose is not going to be easy prey i mean he's probably more dangerous e even than the mountain lion speaking of which there's one right above us um but you know i mean i, I don't have any trouble killing the mountain lions but the moose, I don't know. I, mean, I, I, I guess we're just going to go find out. Either we're going to kill him or he's going to kill us. That's what it boils down to. But my plan is to, you know, pop him with this first, then use the double barrel. And if that still doesn't kill him, you know, then we switch to the magnum to try and finish him off. I think it'll work, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to head north. Hunters have, haven't really been bothering me too much. Uh, they do, of course, get revenge when I attack them. But for the most part... Um, they leave us alone. Charlie, the, the really large base, you know, over to the south of us, or actually more to the west, they haven't bothered us at all. I haven't seen them in a long time, but I have, you know, I don't go near their place though either. I stay away from them. At some point, you know, once we get geared up and have uh, some high end stuff and lots of resources, we are going to go attack those guys, but we're still not uh, ready to do that quite yet. I'm still just trying to build up. You know, once I get all of the equipment that I want in place because we still have to make the diving thing too we still have all the upgrading to do and that's gonna that's gonna take some doing as well okay so let's um you know we'll continue to mine as we go along hopefully I'll remember not to take this all the way down so we can put it in the bio uh, recycler but we got a few more uses out of it first and we are looking for a moose. So I don't know that the, mo the moose hangs out at any particular area. I've never really noticed that. I just kind of see them around every once in a while. They're not real common. So there's a bag there. More cottonseed. Um, cottonseed grows... Uh, or cotton, wild cotton does grow in the fall, but it's pretty rare. You don't see a lot of it, so. See, now I, I can kill him with the bow, but it's really, because it, he was a level two, it's really difficult to do that and not get hit. If he's coming straight at you the whole time, I can pull it off as long as there's enough distance, but most of the time they do a little bit of zigging, a little zagging, and um, I don't trust my aim well enough to to track him and hit him. Oh, what was I doing? I can't remember now. Okay, let's keep going. So we are hurt just a little bit. Nothing too bad, but we do want to check our health and make sure it's completely full before we engage Bullwinkle. But I'm going to see if I can, you know, let it come back on its own for the time being. So let's go down through here. We're just going to continue killing wolves. Uh, oh, shit. I am... Those guys might have seen me. I got all turned around. I'm not even going the right direction. Well, if they did, they did. They'll probably attack us. And then we'll come and take them out and steal all their shit like we always do. But I'm not worried about that today. I have yet to have any of the hunters completely destroy my walls since I put them up. You know, they can do a number on them, of course, but they haven't, um, oh, nice. They haven't actually destroyed them completely. So, you know, my defenses are working quite well to the point where, again, I can go out, not really worry too much about it if, if an attack does come in. I always have to repair it, of course, when I get home, but not a big deal. Okay, it's a level three, so he's going to take some pistol shots, too. If I get good solid shots off on him, it should we should be able to kill him in three. Yep, there we go. Probably wouldn't have been able to do that with before I had upgraded the pistol in three shots. Okay, we're going to go down this way towards uh, the West Lake or whatever it's called. And wash off. Continue to hit crates, of course. And wolves and everything else, just like we always normally would do. 
Okay, he's a level two. We might be able to kill him with the bow if he comes. Well, see, he does the, he does the zigzag thing. So we can kill him, but he's going to hit us once. And we got infected, which is not good. That's the risk that you take. That's the risk I take for not using probably what would have just been a single 9mm. So not the smartest thing, but whatever. Okay, I don't know about the moose thing now. Not without getting an antidote going, which I have plenty back at the base, of course. But uh, this kind of sucks. Not going to lie. Maybe what I'm going to do is run back to the base and antidote up. Because taking on a moose without full health is foolhardy. I'm thinking. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to work my way back to the base, get the antidote, and then come back out. And maybe not try and kill wolves with just the bow. Unless it's a level one. Level one's an easy kill with the bow. Oh, shit. You stay there, buddy. Nice rifle ammo. Love the rifle ammo. All right, well, let's head back, get ourselves fixed up, and then try it again. Okay, let's try this again here. Okay, this time we're going to go more to west, northwest-ish. Stay closer to the base of the mountain. Uh, we definitely don't want to stumble on this thing, though, because it will attack us now. I don't know what their aggro range is. If it's the same range as, as which they t detect us when they run away, then it's far. <laughs> so, yeah. Lots of blueberries out in the fall, which is great. We've got a nice little supply of them already. If we come across any mountain lions, I think I'm going to leave them be for now. Uh, just so we can... Make sure we're, we have our full health and everything else uh, for the moose. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm overreacting to the moose. It might not be any worse than the mountain lion, but I haven't legit killed one. Legit meaning out in the wild. I, I did kill that one a long time ago that got stuck in our yard, but that was kind of cheesy. <laughs> it was an opportunity kill. And in this game... You take what you can get, but <clears throat> I wanna I wanna kill one like legit, meaning out in the wild without any. Uh, I need more arrows, so we're hitting chickens too. Out in the wild, you know, without it being trapped and not able to get away, that sort of thing. I'm not sure if the moose will run at all if we attack it. Uh, the hogs, for are for example. Sometimes they'll run away when you attack them, and sometimes they'll charge you. And it seems... There's a mountain lion right there. It seems to be more related to how far away you attack them. The further you are you are away, the more likely they are to run away. But I don't know if that's a direct correlation or not. Could be just a random chance thing. <clears throat> We got a, <clears throat> excuse me, a bear and a wolf over that way. Just kind of scanning the horizon here. How many arrows do I have? 13? Okay.
I've got quite a few arrows, like almost two full stacks now. So not a big deal, of course, to be making arrows with nails, since we don't really have a lot of other building stuff in mind, uh, in planned, other than the greenhouse. Um, I don't know if that uses nails or not. Definitely going to use glass and some other expensive stuff, like the adhesive and ingots. Well, at least we're seeing lots of crates today, so even if we don't find a moose today, we've had a already had a pretty good loot day. Didn't I just see another crate over here too? Let's go back up higher so I can look. Thought I saw two crates. Uh, maybe I did, and maybe it despawned. I don't know. Can't really tell right at the moment. Oh, is that a... What is that? That might be a moose? I'm not sure. Oh, no, it's a stupid wolf. It sort of kind of looked like a moose from far away. You're a level 3 wolf. Nah, I'm not going to take any chances. Let's just leave the wolves alone for now. So we can stay whole and healthy. Alright, we got a crate and a scrap metal here. Level three, yeah, let's leave him alone. We could, could kill him, but don't need to. Sure is pretty in this game. Well, it's pretty all the time, but I like the fall colors that uh, cold games came up with. It's neat running around in the wintertime, too, as long as you can handle the cold, of course, which we can. Um, all right, where are we at? Let's take a look. Okay, we're pretty close to Pine Lake. Um, let's go swing over by Ortastic. And I went ahead and just threw my um, other pick in the recycler just to free up a space. Could have gotten a few more hits out of it, but they're cheap. Cheap and easy to make. Not that, not the big deal. There's a bear over that way. <clears throat> All right, we got a couple ore deposits here. looks like iron. Oh, we just missed that zinc. Bummer. Okay, let's move towards the lake. See, this feels more like actual hunting because in real life, if, if you've ever been hunting, you don't see animals left and right like you do in these games. You can go for the entire season and never see a single animal, or at least not the kind you can kill legally, you know. Uh, I'm not even messing with those trees right now. Normally I would, but... We're running out of daylight here, so I just want to keep looking. Gets pretty damn cold at night now, too. I <clears throat> I have pretty good clothing on, but I'm holding off on wearing my winter coat until I absolutely have to, just because I, I'm going to lose a lot of protection when I put it on, because we can't wear it and the combat vest at the same time.
All right, we got a wolf out there. And a bear. Another chicken. Hmm. Okay, I'm not spotting anything that direction. This bear is kind of right where we want to go. Let's hope he keeps moving that direction. All right, time to go. Is he still coming? No. Yeah. Unfortunately, we are running out of daylight, ladies and gentlemen. So we may have to resume our moose hunt tomorrow. Unless we spot one pretty quickly here. Uh, we're going to have to wait and do it next time. Nice. Two shotgun shells. I'll take it. Yeah, whatever. Sure, it's uh, Alpha, whose property we kind of stumbled on on accident because I was going the wrong damn way. So maybe what we'll do for tomorrow's hunt is we'll go up the Glacier Valley area that's way over to the west. And look for a moose up that way. Right here, growling. Uh, level 2 wolf. Level 2 wolf there, also. On the off chance that we stumble across a wolf on the way home, I'm trying to stay in good shape here. So, leave the wolves alone for now. Just in case we get messed up. Level 2 bear? No, thank you. I guess we could kill the mountain lion. Yeah, let's kill the mountain lion. Oh, shit. Load, load. I, I kind of felt that I was maybe a little too close to that bear. We're lucky, though, man. We didn't get bled. We didn't get a broken leg. Whew. Okay. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to take the bandage. All right. It gives us a little health, though. Six sinew. Nice. That's a nice haul when you get six of those things. The bear doesn't give a shit. I mean, not proportionate to how dangerous they are and hard to kill. Is what I meant. <laughs> I think we've already had that conversation. <clears throat> they don't give you really much more than the wolves do, and they're twice as hard to kill, so that doesn't compute in my book. But whatever. Yeah, I don't, I don't deliberately kill bears for that reason, but, you know, if we have to kill one, then we have to, like in that case. It's kind of too bad, too, because... I would kill them if we would get more stuff, you know. All right, you guys. Well, I think I'm going to let you go here, and then um, we'll start the next episode. Um, and we'll go out and head to the west and go up the glacier. Uh, Glacier Creek area and look for a moose in that direction and we'll go down to the birch wood and, and through there. 
because we are pretty much home and we have not been attacked by anything. I think that's potassium. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that there. I don't need it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we will probably start the next episode tomorrow morning and go out looking for a moose again. See you later. Bye-bye.